Hey guys, Fraser Brooks here, coming to you live from Cologne in Germany. Super excited about tonight's Facebook Live, and if you're jumping on and you can hear me, uh, let me know, let me know where you're watching this from. Um, in fact, if you're watching live, bang a load of love hearts in so I know you're listening. The more excited you are about tonight's live, the more love hearts you should go pound on. Um, if you're watching this on replay, then literally type in the comments replay. It's always good for me to get a feel of how many people are watching live versus how many people are watching the replay as well. It's always good for me to kind of know that. Um, if this also, if this, if this is your first Facebook live, then I would love for you to comment new, um, just so we can kind of shout out some of the new people. Um, and also go back and I can kind of reach out to you and just welcome you to these Tuesday lives. We're kind of growing this community now. People are starting to understand um, that these are every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. UK time. So if it's a first one, I don't want you to feel like you're not welcome because you are more than welcome each and every single time we're doing that. So Paul, good to have you here. Chanel, Amelia, uh, Debs, Laura, Denise, Ali, Lacey, Stephen, good to have you here. Uh, let's kind of crack into things. And before I get started, just to let you know that the tickets for the UK road tour are going to be going up tomorrow. We've got like, I think there's 10 tickets available in Cardiff, Leeds um, and Glasgow. I believe those are three that are almost sold out. Birmingham, obviously, we've got about 30 odd tickets for that. Um, London, we've got 50 more tickets now available, but they're going to be going flying out real, real soon. Haydock, I've got a massive room. Um, I've got a, got a tent for Haydock. So anyway, um, and yeah, wait until the end. And I know I do this all the time. And by the way, the new ones, Emma, Marlene, Jem, uh, Catherine, good to have you here. Andrea, Miranda, Donna, great to have you here, especially if it's your first time as well uh, to these Facebook Lives. So wait until the end because I've got something I want to give to you completely free um, where I think it could make a potentially a massive, massive difference uh, to your, your business and your team's business. So uh, tonight's Facebook Live, this is probably going to be one of the shorter ones. It's not going to be, a th I don't think, well, it might be. No, with me. I don't think it's going to be a 30 minute beast. It could, could maybe be 15, 20 minutes, but it's going to be shorter, sweeter. Um, but it's going to be the first part in how to turn likes into leads. And if you're excited to le learn how to turn likes, Facebook likes into leads, then let me know. Give us, give us a load of love hearts so I actually know that you're, you're listening out there. And it's funny, before I get into this, I want to tell you a story about what happened, um, to happen to me recently. So, I was I was there enjoying my day. I enjoyed my day the other day, and this guy messaged me and he added me, and I accepted him. I like the look of his profile. Anyway, he then messaged me and says, "Fraser, you should be locked." He didn't actually mention my name. He said, "You should be locked up, right? You should be put in jail." And I was like, "What the heck have I done to to deserve that?" Right? No word of a lie. And the people who are in my like private group, they they know about this story. So comes and, and I'm like, excuse me, like, can you tell me what I've done? Like, have you found the body? Just kidding. Like, can you tell me what I've done? Um, and he basically says, yes, you're involved. You're involved in that industry, aren't you? And I was like, interesting. What industry? And he goes, the one where, where you con everyone. I was like, okay, here we go. Oh, yes, here we go. So I get dead excited when this sort of thing happens. Obviously, at first, I was like, what? And then I get super, super excited about it. So um, so I'm like, all right, okay, can you explain to me like what it is that I'm, what, what, what it is that I'm conning people into? And he says, yeah, you get people to buy expensive products and you earn, and, and you earn a commission by doing that. So I was like, interesting. Can you explain some more? So he goes, yeah, you sell overpriced products, you get a commission, you get other people to do the same thing, you get a commission from what they're doing. And I was like, all right, so you've got a problem that people are making a commission by helping people get a benefit from these expensive products. And he's like, yeah, 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 it's uh, that, yeah, it's definitely my problem. So I, I basically said, I asked him a question and I said to him, I said, do you have an iPhone? Do you have an iPhone? Right? And he basically said yes. And I said, well, a guy created a guy created the iPhone called Steve Jobs, and they have a very, very strict recruitment policy, right? They have a very strict recruitment policy whereby they employ people and they teach them and train it, train them, right? And it's quite it takes quite a while for them to teach and train. Now I go into Apple 
and I go and buy one of their really expensive products. This this thing right here is literally like eight hundred pounds. That's over a thousand dollars. That is ridiculous. So I said, "Is the iPhone expensive?" He said, "Yeah, the iPhone's expensive." Right? I said, "The guy who sold me the iPhone, guess what? He didn't earn a single penny from me buying that iPhone. But guess who did? His boss, his boss, his boss, his boss. That." is a scam right there. So you're telling me I should be locked up for helping people get a benefit from an expensive product. You need to understand what the why the reason why the product's expensive. The reason why a product might appear to be expensive because the benefits are freaking phenomenal and you can't find those benefits anywhere else. So guys, if you're in network marketing, you're listening to me and you're understanding that, then drop some in fact give give a load of love hearts and under and appreciate that you know network marketing is actually better than anything else out there and we're doing good for other people. And if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh yeah, what a bunch this is just a cult, you're brainwashing them then jump off, mate. Do us a favour and get off the live because uh, we're only interested in people who are actually interested in helping people get a better life um, through power of positivity, power of association and all that. And guys, I'm now going to jump in to the first part of how to turn a like into a lead. I'm very, very excited about tonight. So this is just the first part. The first part tonight, which we're going to be covering, and it's the most important part, right? It's the most important part is building an effective friends list, right? And I'm going to show you tonight exactly how to do that. Let me just sort this situation out. Okay, right. Might be a bit angled now. So, and guys, as, as always, if you find benefit in the lives, then please feel free to share it into your groups with a friend, tag a friend in, whatever it might be. But also, if I haven't, if you've added me and you're waiting for me to connect then I would love it if you share this, take a screenshot to show that you've shared it and then send me a message and I'll add you and accept you and we can have a little chat, a little conversation as well. So, okay. So there's eight things you need to understand about when you add people to build an effective list because it doesn't matter. There's three There's three components to basically building on social media. It's getting, it's getting the right message in front of the right time Sorry, right message, the right message in front of the right audience at the right time, okay? The right message in front of the right audience at the right time, okay? So we can teach you ways on how you can get the right message out there. That's absolutely fine. But you have to be able to go and get the right audience. And then the timing is determined by you following up with them and different circumstances in their life, right? So let's focus on the audience tonight. Now... I want you to start adding people for the purpose of the connection and not with the ambition of, oh, I've got to hit 5,000 friends. So that's not point number one. Point number one is to add people for the purpose of the connection and stop trying to reach this magical 5,000 friends. 5,000 friends is the limit, right? But that's not, that doesn't necessarily determine how much you should, should get. Think about the drinking limit. So I actually am not too, sh- this is quite bad, but I actually don't know what the speeding limit is. Um, sorry, the, the limit of, um, you know, the, the limit of, um, the, the drinking limit, right? I suppose it works with speed limit as well. Let's say it's four units. I think it's probably two. Let's say it's four units. And let's say a pint is just over two units. We all try and hit the limit, right? We all try and go bang, pint number one, bang, pint number two. I can still drive. Chances are though, if you get stopped, you're going to get done. Right. So it's always better to stay under the limit. And Facebook works the same way, guys. And if this makes sense to you and you know that you shouldn't be aiming for the 5000 limit, then drop a. am doing it tonight. I'm doing it tonight. Then drop a one below. Um, so I know that you're understanding that you should not have the intention to connect with people for 5000 friends, but you should have the intention to connect with people for a connection, the purpose of the connection. Right. Very, very, very important that you understand this. Very, very important. Right. Point number two is add people who share the same interests as you, right? And stop adding people who aren't interested in what you're interested in. This is so, this is literally vital. Okay, this is how Facebook works. I've kind of showed, shared this, uh, I think, on Sunday. Because obviously now every Sunday night we we do a live Q&A. So, Let's say there's three people, okay? There's me, there's me, there's me, there's Bob, and there's Mary, right? So there's three people, let's do it this way. There's me, 
there's Bob, and there's Mary. Now, Mary, sorry, Ma- this is going to be difficult. Mary has liked different things on Facebook, which tell Facebook what Mary is interested in. For example, if Mary starts liking loads of things about handbags and loads of things about football, then chances are she's going to see more things about handbags and more things about football. So what happens is, I post something about Liverpool Football Club, for an example, okay? So I post that Steven Gerrard scored the winner, right? Great goal, brilliant, legend. And my friend Bob likes or comments on my post, right? Mary, who is friends with Bob, but not friends with me, she goes onto her newsfeed and guess what? It says Bob Jones commented or Bob Jones liked Fraser Brooks's post. And she goes, oh, that's Steven Gerrard. And he did score the winner. That's amazing. Let's go check out more about this guy. And she comes over, she checks my profile, sees, oh, he's a Liverpool fan as well. And guess what she does? She adds me. That's how Facebook works. Now, if I post about a dog and she's a cat lover, she won't see my post. So, and the re- if I wasn't connected with, if I wasn't connected with Bob, who was also a dog lover, then he most likely wouldn't sh- uh, like or comment on my post because he doesn't like dogs, let's say, right? And then she wouldn't see it in the first place. So you literally have to be sure that every single person you're adding is actually interested in things that you are interested in too. And you do this and you determine this simply by checking them out before you actually become friends with them. These days, right, let's use this as an example. These days, and I said this was going to be a short live. Sorry, guys. Um, these days, pe- a lot of people are dating online, right? And let's say, for example, well, Tinder, I think Tinder is the most popular one. So on Tinder, there is the name, the age, and a little bit about them. So people, before they make a decision whether they want to potentially date that person, people are checking them out. That's the world we live in. You need to check out the person, who they are, before you're friends with them, right? That's why blind dates are getting less and less and less and less. And Alicia, I see that you've deleted 4,000 friends because of me. Great effort. Your interaction will now go through the roof. Okay, so point number one, add people for connect, add, add people for the purpose of the connection, not to reach, reach 5,000 friends, because that's a complete and utter myth. Um, add people who share the same interests as you. Facebook have quite clearly stated that they want to get people connected, but more connected than ever before. You can't connect with, you can't connect with someone who loves the boots on shoes when you love Nike trainers. Just, doesn't happen. Natasha, Bob and Mary, they're always here. Um, so guys, if you're getting benefit from this, uh, please feel free to share. At the end of this, trust me, I'm going to give you, I'm going to make two, two big announcements, well, two, one massive announcement and one kind of big announcement, which is, I promise will help you building your business. I don't do anything that I don't think would, would, would help you. Um, number three, don't add people if they're not active. Paula, thanks for sharing. Diana, thanks for sharing. Um, and Susan, thanks for sharing. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, so add if they're actively posting. Stop adding interactive, stop adding interactive profiles. So if someone's p- not posted for the last three months, why bother adding them? If they're not posted for three months, chances are they don't go on Facebook enough. So why be a Facebook friend with someone like that? There's just no point. They're clogging up your newsfeed. You need to be added with people who are actively on Facebook. So they're actively liking your stuff, engaging with your stuff and messaging you when you message them. All right. Very important. So that's point number three. Like, don't really need to go into that any more than that. Point number four. This is a big one. And this potentially is going to make you think, what the hell? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Number four is... Add some people from your company, the ones that maybe inspire you, the ones who are in your team, the one you're connected with, but stop adding everyone from your company. It's a big one. And the reason for that is that, yes, you want to have the power of likes. You want to have the power of likability. You want to be able to have, and more than likely, the people in your team, the people in your company will like your stuff, especially if you post about, if you post about a company event, you post about something to do with your company, then people, Mary Kay, thank you very much for sharing. People will like that and appreciate that. But if you've got a network, your friends list and the people who are seeing your post are all people from your company, then, and you do a recruitment post or you get people to like this status, if you want to know more about my awesome company, right? Who's going to like it? They ain't going to like it. 
Your goal on social media is to get the right message in front of the right audience at the right time. You can get the right message, but if your audience is people already in your company, then guess what? That's the wrong audience. So you've just lost one of the scores. You've just lost one of the points. You've just lost one of those three three prongs. So you want to be connected with, I would say, your total friends list. No more than 20% should be from your company. I made a fatal error when I was building my business. And although that I was spending literally all my time in the messenger, the people who I was connected with were people in my organization. So I was getting, you know, 50 to 100 likes and I was looking down the list I was looking down the list of everyone who joined, who, who had liked my, my stuff, my status. 95% of the people were people already in my team. What was the point in that? I was just liking for the, for the, for the sake of keeping them entertained. So number four is massive. Stop adding everyone from your company. If everyone starts adding you. This is what you want to say. You re- literally send them a little message, get a little audio, record it, whatever, get a video message, record it so you don't have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and keep sending it and say this. Hey, um, great to be connected with you here, Mark. Let's, I've just seen Margie popped up. Thanks for sharing, Margie. Um, great to see, great to see you popped. Um, great to see, great to see you, you wanted to connect, Margie. And I also noticed we're in the same company. Awesome. Great company. Um, but I don't, I don't add anyone from my own companies. I want room to expand my network. So feel free to follow me and press C first. That is basically like a friend, a friend request. So that is what you want to do with the people who have followed you. If you've already got them, then you can remove them, message them and say, like, hey, I'm removing you. It's not because I hate you. It's because I want to have room for people who to be able to join my network and expand my network. It's 5,000 friends. And realistically, 3,000 is the maximum number you should really have. Mine's like 3,300. But that's the optimum and that's where you need to hit. And I know I'm going super, super fast. It's just I get so passionate about this and I hope you can appreciate that. And again, guys, if you're getting value from this, Feel free to share it. If I don't say it, you won't do it, I suppose. Uh, But if I ask, then I see a lot of people do it. So that's that's awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, I did think this was going to be a 15-minute live. How wrong was I? Um, So number five, add people who you see commenting on posts often, right? And stop adding people who are not posting on comments at all. So how you do this is if, let's say you're going into into onto a fan page and you see someone... (laughs) <laughs> Paul, thanks for sharing the hell out of it. I uh, appreciate it. That, that means a lot. So let's say that you're, you see someone who continually is, is commenting on some of your friend's posts, or they're continuously commenting on a community that you're a part of, or they're continuously posting and commenting on a page that you've liked. Go ahead and add them. That means that they're actively engaging with other people's content. And if people actively engage in your content, it gets seen by more people. Tanya, thank you very much for sharing it. I really appreciate it. Okay? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for people to engage in your stuff. If you've got 3,000 friends, 100 friends, 500 friends who aren't engaging with any of your stuff, you literally, you don't want to, you don't want to keep them around for very long. Seriously, guys, this is how, how you build your likes is how you get an effective friends list of people who are engaging with your stuff because they're the right people who want to know the information that you're sharing. Right. That's number five. And guys, uh, I forgot to do the drop the twos and all that. So forget that. <laughs> I was going to say drop a five, but I'm not going to. Um, so let's just check. I'm just checking my notes here. Uh, six. I think we're on number six. Add people who are part of groups that you're interested in. Okay. Now it's very, very important. You understand this. Okay. Do not be poaching people. Don't go and join network marketing groups or company X groups, company Z groups for the intention to poach someone, right? And if you agree that we should stop the poaching, give us a load of wow emojis and say, uh, what can we say? Ban the poach, ban the poach. That doesn't really make any sense. I'm not really thought about that kind of uh, that what to say there, but throw a load of wow emojis in and say, don't poach. That's it in capitals. Comment, don't poach, right? We need people. If anyone watches this, they're interested in network marketing. They need to see so many people at the same time see the words don't poach that they know not to poach. Poaching is what's ruining the industry of network marketing. This is why. So someone's vulnerable. Someone's feeling down. Let's say that, let's say, I'm, okay, let's say I've, let's just say I split up my girlfriend, right? Let's just say, no, it's not going to happen. Trust me, it's not going to happen. Okay, bad example, right? Let's say I, I break up with my girlfriend and she is in a very, very, very vulnerable position, right? Let's say she's in a really vulnerable position. Would it be fair for one of my friends 
someone that I know, someone who likes the same things as me, someone who shared a common interest, to go up to her and go, oh, yes, she's easy pickings. I'm going to go after her. Right? Is that the right thing to do? No. Because she's vulnerable, might she go for it? Maybe. Okay? Maybe. That is the same, in my opinion, that's the same thing. So stop freaking poaching people. So the point of this, I just went on a phrase around again. I keep doing these things. It's what happens when you get highly passionate about something, right? Um, so point number six is add people a part of groups that you're interested in for the purpose, back to point number one, for the purpose of the connection, for the purpose of the connection. So let's say I'm a part of a group and don't, guys, the point is don't have a load of, don't be a part of a load of network marketing groups. Be a part of groups. If you're a mum, find a mum's group. There's loads of groups, I think, like mums in Sheffield, mums in Leeds, mums in Newcastle, mums in London, mums in Bristol, mums in Cardiff. You're a mum. Go leverage that. You like you like football? Go find football groups. You like travel? Go find travel groups. You like dogs? Go find dog groups. Find things that you're interested in and add people. Once you've engaged with the group first, so you're not a poacher because you just look like a poacher otherwise. Like, oh, hey, I noticed that we're both in group X. Great to be connected with you. Friend, right? Don't be doing that. Engage in them first inside of the group. Reach out to the admins. Get to know the admins and thank them for creating the group. And then you have the right to be able to connect with people on a private level. Getting to know their family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Once you know those four things about someone, guess what? You're no longer a stranger. You're a friend to that person. And then you can say the whole, hey, just curious. Would you be open to checking out some information about an exciting project that I'm partnered with? Bang. That's not for this training, but let's go. Right. Don't poach. Don't poach. Don't poach. Brilliant. 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 Poaching is awful. Yes. Hell no. Absolutely. Number seven. Right. This is, in fact, this is probably my favorite one. Uh, and this is quite controversial. So Mark Zuckerberg, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but you need to listen closely to this one. Um, and guys, if you're ready to hear number seven, Give us a load of love hearts so I know you're ready because this, when I realized this and when I learned this, it kind of made a big difference to the conversations, the level of conversations that I was having, right? Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. Number seven, I don't, I don't really mind if anyone's put the hearts on not because I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you it anyway, aren't I? Number seven is you want to add mutual friends, right? But avoid the suggested friends. OK, so there's two types of people you're not friends with right now that maybe show up on your newsfeed. Facebook say, oh, suggestive friends. And then there's people you've got mutual friends with. Now, I don't know about you, but if, if there's a if there's a lineup of 10 different people and someone that I don't I don't really know says to me, hey, you should be mates with him. I'm going to go. Well, what do you know? I don't care that you think I should be mates with him. I like the look of him. He looks pretty good and he's wearing a Liverpool shirt. I'm going to be mates with him. Oh, and by the way, he happens to be friends with one of my friends. So I'm in this lineup and there's one guy who doesn't really know me goes, Oh, you should be, you should be friend, you should be friend with person 10. But then there's another one of my mates who, there's another one of someone who's, who's, who's with me called Bob. There we go. Bob's come out again. And Bob comes out and goes, Oh, I'm mates with Steve number one. And I go up to Steve and go, Hi, mate. How's it going? I notice we're friends. We're, we're mutual friends with Bob. Fancy being mates. Just kind of like as a, as, as a story kind of telling. And he goes, yeah, sure. That is way more powerful than going to the suggested friend. So add people, right? Who you are mutual friends with, with the purpose of the connection, right? You're the one who decides who you want to be friends with, not someone else. Leverage the fact that you've got a mutual, mutual friend. It's like a three way call. Okay. So let's say there's someone called Bob. I'm, I'm not going to use Bob. Dave. Dave, right? Dave's there. So Dave is mate is mutual friends with Bob. So I can I can reach out. I can add him first. This is what you want to do, okay? To avoid being hit into the other inbox, the junk box, you want to add Dave. You want to love Dave's profile photo, and then you can message Dave and say, "Hey, Dave, um, come across you. Notice we're mutual friends with with Bob, um, Bob Jones." Uh, See that we we like similar things. We're interested in similar things. It'd be great to connect with you. That 
that works really well. That's a really good way to add and build an effective friends list because you're determining, well, first of all, they're friends with someone I know, so I can leverage that. But also, oh, they've done a couple of posts about network marketing. They've done a couple of posts about travel. They've done a couple of posts about dogs. They've done a couple of posts about sports. They've done a couple of posts about being a dad. They've done it, whatever, right? That's how this works, okay? So, and then point number eight, okay? Point number eight is add people who are open to having a Facebook call with you and you don't, and you want to avoid, you want to avoid people who don't want to use Facebook calling. And this is a bit of a tough one to decide, but let's say you're messaging with someone who you've not actually connected with in terms of added yet and you say, Hey, you're open to a Facebook call. Ashley, I love Bob as well. Bob's a beast. In fact, I don't even know, I don't really even know a Bob really. Uh, I probably should go find a Bob and be mates with Bob. Everyone loves a Bob. Um, anyway, enough about Bob. Uh, so, yeah, it's a tough one to find, but if, if you start sending someone, hey, do you want to jump on a video call? Or do you want to jump on a call? Right? Then, Alan! Someone's like, Alan! Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, then, and they say, no, I'm not, I don't want to be on a call. Then, kind of what's the point of being friends with them? And the reason why I say this is, yes, the purpose is for the connection, but the connection will end up lead, lead, the connection will end up leading into a good conversation, which will end up leading into a conversion. Right? Very, very important to understand that. Conversation, We'll turn into a, uh, um, a sorry connection. We'll turn into a conversation. We'll turn into a conversion. And let's say that person, when you're at the connection stage, isn't open to having a call. What's the point in having them in? What's the point in? You're not going to be able to connect with them very well. You're not going to be able to have a very good conversation if you're not going to be able to have a video call at one point. So you don't make sure that your friends list. If you feel like you want to be able to say, I can go to any one of my friends, for example, Michaela. Right, and I can go to Michaela, I can go, hey, fancy jumping on a video call? And Michaela, within a day, will most likely respond to me and say, yeah, sure, when are you free? And bang, I'm in. You want a friends list that you can literally message, say, fancy a video call? Yes, I'm in. Your friends list right now, your real life friends list, if you say, hey, can I call you? Or hey, call me, I need to tell you something. Chances are they're going to call you. That's what you need in your team. So, guys, that's part one of turning likes into leads. I know you might not have got the, oh, how am I going to make money? I've had 100 likes on my, on my last post about, you know, me, me being pregnant. You know, I want to turn those 100 people into customers. We can do that. It takes time. But with time, we need to have the process. If I did the whole thing, it'd take me three hours. So, next week, I'm going to be covering how to build the rapport and how to build the trust with the people on your friends list. You don't want to miss it because you think you might know it. Trust me, you most definitely don't with some of the tips and tricks that I'm going to teach you. The week after, I'm going to share with you how to invite them, how to invite those people to see your presentation. And the week after that, I'll share with you some different techniques to get the best conversion rate of parts possible. So we're going to be going from a highly effective friends list to, to building a trust and the rapport to then getting them onto the presentation, right? By inviting them properly. There's, there's different, different invites for different people. There's not just one invite for all. And then how to close them and get them into the team and duplicate. So, big announcement. There's two things coming. One of them is right now, right here. So if you go to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna text it out. If you go to fraserbrooks.com, I've spent a bit of time to update my, my website. So you can see here, FraserBrooks.com. If you go there, I have created a completely free PDF guide. It's basically a book. It's like 36 pages. It's a book with the 27 strategies, right? Very simple, like very, very simple um, in each one. The 27 strategies for you to be able to build your network marketing business using Facebook. There's scripts in there. There's what to say in there. And these 27, all 27 that I cover, they've all been proven because I built my business using the 27 strategies. Some are newer than others. Some have gone back for literally 2010. But you can go get that anytime you want. All you have to do is go to FraserBrooks.com. You'll see it at the top. You have to enter in your name and email so I can actually send it to you. Um, yeah, so I've got to actually be able to send it to you. Um, and you're going to get it. It's going to be, you'll, you'll enter your name and your email address. You'll get an email that'll say like, hey, just confirm your email. So you can't add in like test at gmail.com because otherwise I can't send it to test at gmail.com. As soon as you confirm it, about a minute later, you'll receive it. And guys, honestly, it's, it's a nice read. 
Uh, I'm not just saying that. I, I spent a lot of time like creating it for the benefit of you guys. Do I get a benefit from you getting it free? No. I don't get any benefit from that. But the be- I suppose the benefit I do get is seeing you succeed using the strategies that work for me. That's why I'm on this mission. Announcement number two. Most likely next week, okay, I am going to announce, and you know I like to make an announcement on the end of my lives. You should know that by now. Uh, it's funny when I see the numbers drop off from like the 280 or the 290 we got to 250 because they're like, ha, you missed the announcement. Uh, so uh, the ne- the end of next week, right, the end of next week's live, I am most likely going to announce the launch date for something that I believe is going to unite the industry of network marketing in the UK, UK especially. It's open to everyone, but the UK especially, which is my initial goal. It's going to unite, unite everyone, but it's going to reward those who are actually putting in the effort, not necessarily people who are getting the customers or distributors, but people who are actually putting in the effort. So if you're putting in a lot of effort and you're not really getting anywhere from it, I'm going to be helping you out big time. But third of all, have a shed load of fun and get more results than you've ever had before, Right. It's never been done in network marketing. It's never been done, it's never been done generically. All right. You'll have no idea what it is and the winner will get something pretty significant. I believe it's going to be one of the biggest things that's going to be happening in 2018, but we're going to be starting it. Um, we're going to be starting it at the back end of this year. Um, and you guys are all going to be the first ones ever to do it. It's, I believe it's going to be huge and I cannot wait to share it with you next week. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go get your tickets. They're going up, they're going up tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow at 12 p.m., uh, 12 noon. They'll be going to 15 pound a ticket. Um, instead of 10 pounds, the early bird's now gone. It's, well, it's going before 12 tomorrow. And then go ahead and go get that free PDF guide at FraserBrooks.com. Those of you who are in, in the Ninja Networker, obviously my private coaching group, you're going to be able to get the, um, a breakdown of each strategy step by step, uh, as well as the guide as well as part of the ongoing training that we're going through as well. But, uh, you guys know about that anyway. So with that being said, next week, part two of turning likes into leads, building rapport and trust, different things that I've been able to do to literally be able to sponsor 497 people. So with that being said, have a great, great rest of your night. Remember, listen up, take notes, take action, smash it. See you soon, guys. Good night. God bless. Bye-bye.